Yo, 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 you're in Australia, boy, Kagi, back at it again with the new video. Today, we're going to try a new blockchain game. This game is an RPG dungeon crawler game. Basically, you, you go around this world, virtual world, and... Uh, that's not a good explanation. Anyway, um, basically, if you don't know what a blockchain game is, most of the blockchain games, whatever you find, whatever artifacts you find, they're actually yours. You keep them. You keep them in a wallet that nobody can touch. So if this game ever goes to shit, right? Even if they, they delete the game, you still own those items. Um, so that's the beauty of blockchain. You actually own the items and then you can trade those items, right? Um, there's a few web pages where you can trade those items and it's really, really interesting. And yes, it's um, you pay in cryptocurrency when you trade those items, not dollars, crypto. Okay, this is why we're here. Okay. So let's jump right into it. I already downloaded the game. Actually, boom. And it says right here. Important information. All right, let me put this, uh, put this guy right here. So. Important information about the artifacts. Almost all the artifacts you find in the game are valuable limited items, which are backed by the Ethereum blockchain. Ethereum is a cryptocurrency. If you don't know, if you're watching this, you probably know. You probably know about this. Unlike the majority of games today, this means all items are probably rare and truly limited. Yes, those items that you find, they're yours forever. Forever. You put them in a wallet and they're yours. No matter if the game is deleted. It's entirely likely only a very small number of players will be able to obtain at least one of all the items available in the game. The items are tradable on public markets, like I told you before, and due to the rarity, uh, I can't even say that word, generally fetch high prices. This gives you the opportunity to find items and sell them, potentially earning a profit. Some valuable items are used to obtain other valuable items, uh, items through the quest. Some items will only drop in adventures, others will only be available through quests, events, and encounters. Thank you so much for that information. We got some patch notes, and uh, we're just going to start playing. Visit the shopkeeper in town to purchase now. Hmm. Nice, dude. Okay. Right, let me move this here so you guys can actually see the objectives. Boom. You have arrived in Talmuth. The tavern usually has some rooms for rent, so that's a great place to start. Walk to the tavern in the town center. All right. Oh, this is cool, man. Oh, I'm already liking this game. Oh, hell yeah. I wonder if you could zoom out. No, probably not. I can't. The tavern is a great place to unwind after your adventures. There are several activities available within the tavern, and the innkeeper usually has some quests to keep you busy. Visit him now to see if he has any rooms available. Alright, let's visit this guy. All my rooms are fully booked right now. But you can share a room with other adventures for free. Once you've earned a bit of coin, you can rent a better room. Head up now and get settled in. It's the end of the corridor and to your right. Alright, let's go. Hey, what if I find an artifact here, huh? And it's limit. You never know. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you can change the outfit you're wearing by interacting with your outfit trunk which is on the ground go ahead and do that now to see what's available oh I, I i dig i dig i dig i dig this one 
You can change your outfit anytime you like by interacting with your outfit trunk. Go back to the innkeeper. He's looking for some help. Quests. Okay. Cool. I was in the Echoing Cavern dungeon the other day and lost my most prized hat. You Could you go back in there and get it for me? I'll reward you with some gold coin, a sword, and a ring I found while I was down there. Nice. So am I going to own that on the blockchain? Most likely. Am I going to own it forever? Most likely. A gift of gold coins. Dungeons can only be accessed with, that, with an adventure stone, which can be bought with the gold coins. Gold coins are used for a lot of things throughout this land. They can be purchased on the website and small amounts can be found on your adventures. You're going to need some adventure stones now though. So there's enough gold coins to get you started. Locate the shopkeeper and use gold coins to buy a discovery pack. Okay. Adventure stones are account bound items. Not blockchain. And are required to take out valuables found during your adventures. The adventure stones are only consumed if you exit with valuables. Die or quit the adventure early. Some game modes have additional rules. Who's this? Alright, so basically they're not letting me in anywhere right now. Can only be entered by... Can only be entered with the following rare items and weapons. Okay. Dungeons can save valuable loot for you to discover. Most loot is dropped from monsters and can be found in chests, but items such as potions and gold coins can be found in breakable objects such as crates, barrels, and statues. The innkeeper's hut will be somewhere in the dungeon. Okay. Cool. Left click to interact, consume items. Right click to add items to your inventory. You can interact, consume items in your inventory by left clicking them. Drop items from the inventory by right clicking. Okay. about this this looks like I knew it nothing there let's see if there's anything else here I'm trying to get the most out of this you know
We're trying to find something of value out here, you know? Oh, look at this. I'm gonna go the left side first. And... Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Innkeeper's hat, uncommon. I found it. A potion, no. Energy po a simple energy potion that replenishes your energy. It's like any. Okay. When do you lose energy? That's the question. So I got a rare item. Nice. Uncommon. Blockchain, baby. I got my first blockchain. Woo! Got my first blockchain uh, item in this game. Let's go, baby. Let's go. 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 Oh, that's satisfying. Knowing that your item is yours forever is satisfying, actually. Actually, you get high out of that. I'm high. I'm high, Aliyah, baby. Oh, look, there's more stuff here. I was gonna leave. Okay, I think we're done here. I think so. Down here, we're so done here. Boom, baby, we out, and we got a freaking item. I'm excited.
and Queen Karen. Well done, you have completed an adventure. Here's all your items of value you were able to take out with you. You can find items on your account item space. Nice. All right, let's see what this guy's going to give me. Thanks for finding my hat. Come back later. I'll have some more quests for you. In the meantime, visit the blacksmith. He mentioned someone ran off his book plans, book of plans, and he's eager to find it. Equipping weapons, the sword you receive from the innkeeper can be equipped at any time while outside the an adventure. Go ahead and do that now. Interact with the circular weapon slot on the screen and choose Barbarian Blade from your list of weapons. Okay. Alright, let's Items can be equipped in the same way. Equip the Feeble Ring of Rejuvenation by interacting with one of the circular items slots on the screen and selecting the ring from the list of items. Okay. Okay, nice. So now we're gonna go to the blacksmith and see what's up. Hey, what up, yo? A thief with a book. Someone ran off with my book of plants the other day. I chased them towards the Equine Cavern and they ran inside. There's only one way, one way out of that place, and I waited for three days. Pretty sure they never made it out. If you can retrieve it, I have some golden weapons for your trouble. Okay. Sure. Sure, bro. I got you. I got you, my friend. I got you. Oh. Hmm, so I have to go back in. I think I found it in the last quest. I'm excited. Oh, fuck. Oh, 
Oh, that ring is fire, yo. It rejuvenates you. Over time. That thing hit me pretty hard, let me tell you. Oh, what is this? Wait, what? Shattered compass. This item has been severely damaged. Don't try to use it to find the, the exit out of this place. Okay. I won't. But I want to know why would you give it to me, though. Explodes after three seconds, dealing 350 damage per entity. Cluster explodes after two seconds, dealing 100 damage. Three uses remaining. These aren't your standard marbles. While not actually owned by the devil, light the fuse and toss away from you, and you'll quickly see why they're called that. Okay. I want to make sure there's nothing else that we got to do around here before I move on to the next. No, there's nothing else. Okay. Oh, oh crap. Oh, get marked. I get marked. Get actually destroyed. getting into here. No way. Oh, I was gonna say, did it crash? No. Oh, 
crap, that just scared the fuck out of me. The motherfucker. Faded map. Nah, we don't want a faded map, bro. We good. We good, yo. We do want to do. Ooh! This is common. Everything's common here. I don't want. I don't want more common items. So nothing else here. Oh. Okay, we're gonna keep going then. Go backwards. Oh, I'm not sure. If I went. Th yeah, I went through here already. <laughs> Let's go back over here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Whoa, 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 whoa. That guy destroyed me. Alright, we need that. So. Common. Gonna keep exploring. Ooh, gold necklace. I don't know how much. I'll drink it. Sure. Sure, why not? to thing oh get marked get actually destroyed one tap one tap baby one tap mm. oh 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 I'm a one tap this guy oh yeah hey attack This is partition wire. This is actually blockchain, so we're gonna keep it.
I'll take some poetic writings. Why not? So I kind of want to get that gold necklace. It's like... It's not here though. I know it's not here. But I'm going to explore this. Wait, what the fuck? What the actual fuck was that? I want that. I'd rather have that, I think. Or maybe the gold necklace? I don't fucking know. Huh. There it is. Although it's common. Boom. Peace, peace. Oh, you have done an adventure. Here's all the items of value you were able to take out with you. You can find the items in your account items page. Okay. So the other items are not valuable? I mean, even if they're... I wonder if you go in the back of that. My ear. Thanks for returning my book. I have some more quests for you if you're... La, 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 la. I have some more quests for you if you are after some more rewards. But if you haven't explored Tomuth yet, you definitely should. There's always something new to see. And if you're lucky, you might catch a glimpse of the gift gargoyle. I guess. There are valuable artifacts hidden in the dungeons on various adventures for you to find so you should definitely go back into the dungeon to find more items now the items you have received are account bound but there are others which are a lot more valuable and are backed by the blockchain blockchain items can be traded with other players and are extremely limited in supply making them highly prized and worth large amount of to those who seek them visit vendors around town they're looking for items that you can find in dungeons and they will trade you for other items and sometimes give you access to new adventures oh okay Interesting. Nope, I would not like to change my name.
the gift gargle. That's our next objective. But right now, I I just want to check my, I just want to check my wallet. I want to see that I have my my things. So I just. But how do I check my wallet? Let's see. So I have my wallet right here. No support items found in your wallet. Wait, 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 wait. I should buy a pet, right? Oh, there you go. These are my, ah, oh, there you go. These are my items. These are bound to your account and can't be teleported to your wallet. These are blockchain. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. So these are my blockchain um, items. So I'm going to send it to my wallet. Okay. Select all. Prepare teleporter. Okay, sure. How much money do I have in my wallet? I have... Yeah, I took our... Pay with the ETH, obviously. So I basically I'm sending right now ETH to this account, right? So I could pay for this. Pending transaction, as you guys can see, I got a pending transaction. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's so hard to see. Whatever. The point is that I'm sending ETH, so I can buy these gold coins, and then with those gold coins, I can send my blockchain items to my wallet. So I'll have them right here in my wallet. I'll own them, and I could trade it anywhere I want. Fucking amazing. I'll be back when this is done. So, there we go.